Like, by the way, I care about you and your learning, but you just told everyone your name is Apple. Okay? Oh my gosh. Welcome back to FTD Reacts. We want to say thank you for all the love, likes, and subscriptions that you have given from our first video. We are super excited to bring you this second one as part of a new series called Teachers React. So for those of you who may not know, I am a teacher. I have been a teacher for the last six years and I've had the pleasure of teaching around different parts of the world. So I think it's going to be pretty exciting reacting to these student TikToks. So let's check it out. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> I have no idea what <laughs> I don't even know what that was. Like in 2045, even preschoolers are just gonna be like wrapping it up. I hope we never get there where like preschool kids are like jamming out to rap. Although I, I have to say I probably would have memorized the ABCs a lot faster if it had been to that tune. <laughs> what do you call a junior in college who only has three semesters left before they have to graduate and then get a real job in the real world and start being an actual adult that like pays bills and does taxes and um, and they're starting to realize that they don't really like the thing that they're majoring in because they're not that passionate about it and they can't really picture themselves doing it for the rest of their life and they're also just not really that great at the thing they're majoring in either and um, it's too late for them to change their major because you've already invested so much time and money and effort into that degree and um, also even if you were to change your major it's like you don't even know what you would change it to because you're you know your biggest insecurity is that you're not really passionate about um, well anything um, and all your friends and everyone in your life seems to have deep. everything figured out and all put together and everyone else seems to know what they're doing but you don't know what you're doing you're just kind of really stressed and you're in this weird pit hole and it's like you just want to sleep off the next three years or just like fast forward until the bit in your life where you like have everything figured out and you're happy and put together but you know you can't do that so you're just a uh, <laughs> take a breath <laughs> Oh, this poor girl. Honestly, uh, this is something even that I went through as a student. Like, y you get to a point in university, I mean, like, I know I'm a teacher, but I get being a student, too. You get through, like, a certain part of your degree, and you wake up some days, and you're like, what am I doing? Where am I going in life? Is this really what I want to do? Is this what I want to be? You, you question everything. Um, I think it happens pretty much in like every stage of your educational kind of career. You get it in high school, you get it in university, and then again in teacher's college. And then when you walk into that classroom and something totally unexpected happens, and then that whole feeling comes again and you're like, <gasps> Am I meant to be a teacher? And then you just deal with it. You take a couple breaths and you're like, yeah. <laughs> that was a good one. You said that you could let it go and I wouldn't catch you hung up on somebody that you used to know. But you didn't have to cut me off. <laughs> you didn't have to cut me off. Um, <laughs> I love it. You know why? Because it's so true. Especially high school girls these days. They be trying to show up in a crop top. No, girl. The other half of that shirt, sew it back on. We don't need to see that at school. You're there to learn. That, that's all I have to say. You're there to learn. It's not a fashion show. And the boys are not going to be paying your big bucks one day. So get that education. I can take it. No. I can take no. your hands if I want to. Won't feel lucky for you. I don't want to. Oh. I can take your hands if I want to. That is horrible. But I wish I had it when I was in university. <laughs> what is up with this technology? First of all, I'm a little jealous because that is not even fair. Okay, one time when I was in grade eight, I made this horrible mistake of copying and pasting literally paragraphs upon paragraphs of work into a project. I got caught. And you know what? It taught me such a valuable lesson because I made sure I never did that again. Even in university, I would cite something like 20 times just to make sure that I didn't get caught. Whoever made this, genius. But no, really, really though, if you're in school, learn how to paraphrase. Learn how to put things in your own words. I mean, it's just basic. Yeah. 
All right, moving on to chapter two, everybody. So then he said, what's up? And I'm like, what's up? And then he's, hold on, guys. I'm sorry. Is my teaching interrupting you two's conversation? <laughs> Me? Yeah, I'm talking to you. I mean, kind of. Okay, then we'll just wait till you're done. Okay. <laughs> so anyways, I started swinging. Not even. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is my favorite line. I'm, I'm not even gonna lie, as a teacher, I have used it a lot. Usually, kids are not like that, but usually it's the quickest way for them to be like, oh yeah, oh yeah, I, sh I shouldn't be talking right now. Yeah, you shouldn't be. But that, I don't even know what I would do there. Ah, uh, no, you know what I would do? I would get, like, I would let them start talking again and then I would just, like, crawl right up in there in between them and be like, uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Is this story gonna write your report card? No. Save it for later. One of you will betray me tonight. Is it me, Jesus? <laughs> no. Is it me, Jesus? It's not you either. Is it me, Jesus? Is it me, Jesus? It would have been all of those subjects for me. All of those subjects would have betrayed me. Honestly, my best subjects were languages and like performing arts, obviously. But I get it. I remember being in school and just feeling like which of my class, which one am I gonna fail? Just, 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 just tell me which one am I gonna fail? So at least I can prepare, you know? Oh. Don't cry, 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 don't cry. Yeah, it's okay. Breathe. Shh. Yeah. Oh, I feel so bad. You know what? I had that experience. Oh! I would never do that to a kid, by the way. I would never do that to my students. I am one of those teachers that it's like, you know full well what is going to be on that test. Not the exact questions, but you know the content. You know the concepts you need to study. Teachers that do this to their kids, what are you trying to play at? We're not in the business of like tripping kids up. We're supposed to empower them. This bothers me because this happened to me in high school. I studied for an exam so hard based on the syllabus that was given to me and then barely any of those questions were on the test. So. Oh man, I feel for this girl. Teachers, don't do that. This is a public service announcement. Be kind. First time, I can't, I don't know how to do this. It's, woo! Golly, I ain't trying to do that. This is questionable. There's too many wipeouts. Take a break. Woo! Hey. Oh, oh! Yeah, oh man. That is one thing I do not miss is all of those fees. It's just like piles on and on and on. And then you think it's done and you're like, oh, finally. And then you get to that class and that teacher's like, by the way, here's five books that I forgot to put on the syllabus, but you need to buy these two. You don't even end up reading half of them. That That's the sad part. Oh, tuition. I don't miss it. I don't miss it. Yes, I do this every day. This is my jam. <laughs> Get out of my class! <laughs> yes, oh my god, there are three states that matter. Um, but my brother said that there's something called plasma. And you're like, ah, uh, yes. I didn't prepare this part of the lesson. So yes, there is a fourth state of matter, but actually for the purposes of our group right now, our age level, it's really important that we just understand solids, liquids, and gases. But yes, in the future, you will learn about plasma. No, you won't. You won't. What is plasma anyways? <laughs> I didn't prepare this part of the lesson. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Let this be a lesson to you. We don't know everything and we don't claim to know everything. We do prepare for our lessons and we practice for our lessons. So keep those random questions to yourself. Or ask us after class when it's not gonna be embarrassing. This I this is oh, the worst sound in the world. And then the thing is, it's like a ripple effect. It's like one kid drops it and they see your reaction because you literally cringe. It's like, it's like the 2020 and 2021 version of Nails on a Chalkboard, modern day. And it's like they see that and they see your reaction. They're like, oh, did you see that? Like she just tripped out. She can't handle that sound. Yeah, let me just, uh, 
drop that over the side. Oh no, my hydro flask. Ah, oh, miss, I'm so sorry. And then you're like winking over at your friend like, okay, now it's your turn, now it's your turn. I got to a point where I was just like, no, no, water bottles, what? What? No, that can be in your cubby. You want a drink? Walk, take a walk, get some steps in. Hydro flasks at the desk. What? Not in my room. You okay? Mm-hmm. Yeah? <laughs> you sure? Mm -hmm. My life in high school. Oh God, she's crying over there. It's tough. I know it's tough, I'm sorry. Times tables. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Let me be real with you. I did not know my times tables, like legit memorized, until I was like in the classroom teaching. Because how embarrassing is it when, when a student knows that uh, nine times nine is 81 and you don't? It, it's, it's sometimes it's just like, okay, and, and what is nine times nine? And you just, you pick the smartest kid in the class because you know they're gonna get the answer right. And they're like, 81, and you're like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. God, I hope that's right. I hope that, write it on the board. Yeah, yeah she, she's smart, it's right. So, that does happen sometimes. Abunda la caca. <laughs> what is that even? <laughs> I love that this kid is like dying. Like he just said, <laughs> now I'm dying. He's acting like he just said the funniest thing in the world. And he just gibberish. Nothing. Yep, nothing. Okay, so I in the past taught French. Um, the things kids say. I, I think the most memorable one is still to this day. Je m'appelle Pomme. My name is Apple. And she said it with such confidence. I, I, I didn't even have the guts to tell her in front of everyone. I just waited until the end and I was like, by the way, I care about you and your learning, but you just told everyone your name is Apple. Oh my gosh, teaching another language is hard. You know, kids don't take it seriously. You really learn how to keep your cool if you teach another language, so kudos to you. Oh, is that it? Oh my God, I watched them all. Yeah. I'm so sad. <laughs> I'm actually yeah. sad. <laughs> I'm actually sad that this is over. Yeah. Like, I, I was just getting into this. You, you don't have any more videos for me? Ah, uh, I guess we'll just have to save it for next time. Okay. I had a blast. I don't know if you did, but that was a good time. These videos, these TikToks, these kids are funny. And they hit it, like they hit the nail on the head. So uh, if you're a teacher, leave those comments below for sure. Don't leave me hanging. Let me know, can you relate? Were any of these your experiences? If you were a student, which hopefully all of you have been at some point in your life, let me know, can you relate? Has this happened to you? Have you been in this situation? Drop your comments below, like, subscribe, and keep an eye out for our next video. Bye guys.